Okay, it's morning. I have four buckets of milk. I've got some cobble on me. And now we're gonna attempt break in down here. So the problem with these guardians is they shoot lasers at you. Right? And when you hit them, you get a break line of sight. It looks like bubbles, but it's a, like a laser beam. And when you hit them, it does damage to you because they have spikes. Right? You see how it's still doing damage to me? But the longer you let them have lasers on you, the more damage they're going to do to you. And they will gang up on you, too. Oop. Ow. Okay. So, there you go. So it's really hard. It's really hard to hit them. And if, even if you bring arrows, arrows aren't so effective in the water. Unless you make prismarine arrows. But prismarine's what we're after. So what I'm going to attempt to do here... Is I'm going to attempt to get inside from the roof here. And break in. So I'm just waiting on the next application of uh, the curse that they put on me. And then I'm going to drink a milk and I'm going to crack through the roof there. We're going to run down inside. And we're going to try to um, dry out a room, basically. By filling it with cobble, then breaking it out. Uh, so really what we're after for what I was doing was prismarine shards. These guys. And for the most part, we can crush the crystals, and we can get the shards as well, just from the guardians. So we have to kill the guardians to get those, which is hard without ranged. Um, without good ranged. Um, I guess I could have brought some arrows in here. I probably should have. Um, but we'll try this for a minute or two, and then if I have to, I'll run home and get arrows. But this way, if we die, we respawn here. We're not far away. Um... Anytime now, Guardians. And there it is. And then we drink this. To clear it. And let's get down inside. Let's crack our way in. There's an Elder Guardian right there. So if we can kill him. They, they're tough. Don't get me wrong. Oh, don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Breath is important. Oxygen good. Oh, no, we screwed up. And dead. Luckily, we're right here, so getting our stuff won't be a big deal. Should be able to get most of our XP back, too. Alright. Now we got seven, seven of it back. Let's crack this open a little more so we have a, a better area to get out that and then give him a couple hits let's go out let's not forget air air is good air is important watch out for those guys like I said you got to break line of sight for them to stop hitting you uh, this is very tough without like it, it normally in modded this is you know you could do this uh, a lot easier, but this doesn't have as far as I know there might be later on doesn't have a lot of the, the stuff that you need to Get around the pain in the butt that is the water temple All right, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually crack open a spot down here for air up here by doing this Well not crack up but we're gonna create an air pocket right here Fill it in Go out, get breath. Obviously, enchants, water breathing, night vision, all of that would be super useful here. Um, but I just came to do it, because why not? Alright, and then when that's like that, what you can do is you can take the bucket of milk again, because we're cursed once again, drink it. And we'll crack these out. Wow, breath is not heavy. Not a lot of breath here. Get these out now before they curse us, because then you'll never break it out. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright, there's breath. 
Now we can get these real quick. That's not the one I wanted to knock out. Cursed again. Take that. Drink it. We got an air pocket right above them. Let's go get our refill our milk. That cow in the jar hopefully has made more milk for us. We can take the water bucket that got filled and just slap it against there. Lost our boots. Not well planned, I'll give you that. But we only need a few shards, so we don't need to be here for too long. All right, we got that. There comes the reed curse. Take that. Let's go down and see if we can finish the job on this elder guardian. We had him at like 50%, I think. Luckily he's trapped in here, ow. All right, he's shooting us. Come out, breathe. He broke our chest. All right, so now we have no chest. One of these should give us what we need, I think. Die, you. Got him. Alright, did he drop anything? Nope. Air. Let's heal. He dropped... I don't see anything in here. His drops might still be down there. Should have dropped something, I would think. Right? Something just got picked up there. We got a prismarine shard. Nice. And there's some drops over here. Go get air. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Heal. I hate this temple, just so you guys know. Not a fan, never have been. It's rough. Some drops over here. Let's go back up. I just don't have enough air for this. Alright, we got an Elder Guardian Spine, an Elder Eye, a Wet Sponge, Raw Cod, and some Prismarine Shards. Now the Sponge, that's a good drop. Because that would give us more break-in area. I'll show you what we can do with the Sponge. What we need to make is a... Um, furnace. So we take some of this cobble, make us a furnace. Put that up here. I mean, this is all vanilla stuff, but just the same. Put that in there, and then get some wood to power it. We can dry that sponge off. And then we can take that sponge down with us. Like this. We can put that sponge like right here, for example. And normally, oh wait, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of modded sponges. That's a vanilla sponge. So the vanilla sponge will suck all the water around it, but if it fills in around it again, then there's not much you can do about that. So we'll have to pick that back up again. But we could go in underneath, put it on the roof, and it would clear from the roof down water um, like we could close this in and do the same thing if we wanted to but let me see what we need real quick and I'll be right back so what we're actually gonna need because what I want to make is this mana lens weight uh, for this automation and we actually need prismarine crystals and the way to get prismarine crystals again they're drops we have a chance to get them off of guardians um, or Elder Guardians. They're also in dungeon chests. And they're in, I think I saw buried treasure maybe. These guys here. 
Yeah, something like that. So, we're just going to keep trying to dry this thing out, I think, and uh, slowly empty it out. And then what we can do is we can turn it into a farm for guardians, and then that would be easy to do. So, uh, I'm going to go down and get that sponge back, and we're going to slowly work our way through this place doing that. So, hang tight. I'll be right back with that sponge. Alright, we're going to start with sealing off this part here. I think what we'll do is we will seal off this part. And so this will take me a few minutes, but I'm going to basically go around here, build us a little, a little area here. Owie. Build us a little area here this and then seal all of this off here and we'll take the sponge from the roof down let me see if I can get this all the way around ow air air would help oh wait I can't break anything because I've got the that going may need to see if I can enchant a helmet. That may be a thing we need to do. Let's get, see if we can enchant a helmet with water breathing. Um, I'll go back and see what that will cost us to do after we do this little section here. So if we take this out like this, we go down and we put this, say, well, we'll go want to go one more down, I think. So let's go one more down, because we want it to have room to fall. If we do it on a single layer, it won't actually, the water level won't drop. So we'll go out one more. Like this. All the way around. Breathe. Alright. And let's head back in. Take our sponge. Slap our sponge in here. And you see it lowered the water level in there. And now we can pick that sponge up, dry it off again. Luckily they do break pretty instantly. Dry it off again, get the other four sides, and work our way slowly around and down is the plan and then we can make us a chamber there um before we do that though i think i'm going to run back to the house and see if there's anything i have there or anything i can make there that would make this easier so in the meantime i'm just going to leave a bunch of stuff here maybe grab us an, uh, a bow and arrow while we're there and then uh, i'll be back so without bookshelves um it does look like i can get aqua affinity one or a lapis on this helmet. So let's do that. That'll. Oh wow, that's protection one, aqua affinity, and soul bound. Well, that's nice. Um, wonder if we can put anything else on there. I think we can only do one thing at a time, right? Yeah. Okay. But that's pretty good. That's that'll give me a little help. There. We'll take some more oak. Uh, I'm gonna grab a bunch of sand because sand is good for filling in uh, temples. Um, the oak we're gonna cook into um, into um, yeah easy for me to say we're gonna cook the oak into uh, charcoal so that we can do this a little better grab a bunch of sand and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just fill that whole temple in we're gonna get all everything in it dry it off completely fill it in and uh, set it up as a as a farm for those guardians I think so we may even go see um, I think we might go see the desert and get some more sand because the more sand we have the better so let me swap that out real quick and we'll make more armor and see what else we might can enchant to
Okay. All right, so we got back, we're here, we got our bu bunch of sand that we dug up, and basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a sandbox around this, where we fill in with sand, like several layers out, and then we can dig out the sand around those layers, leaving the outside layer, of course, and we're basically ever shifting the outside sand layer to the outside, till eventually we've cleared the ocean back in a way. Um, I brought something to make my life easier with that, uh, show you this real quick. Let me get some cobble because I'm going to need that. Um, and that's these factory block placers. And if you look at these guys, see so you, uh, we'll type them in here. They're not so hard to make at all. They're actually super useful little items. They just are a dispenser and an iron plate and some treated wood. And how I'm using it to help me do this is, first off, you got to get rid of this, because anytime there's something like this, um, and of course we need to drink a milk because of the stupid fish. All right, and get rid of that. We're going to do these three right here, and let's not forget to breathe. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take three cobble, and go one, two, three, and take these factory block placers. Like I said, not hard to make. And you you shift click or shift right click and that'll aim in the direction you're looking. So you can't see it, but there's the side to them that's black right there. You see that? That's facing down. So we know that these are facing down. They actually don't take any power. They're not like redstone controlled as far as I mean I, I think there is, but you don't need any of that. And then what we can do is we can just take uh, as much sand as we can get, right? And we can do like this. And he'll start dropping once we remove that. Let's get rid of that, that, and that. That's why we, we did those there. But you can see that'll get rid of that. And when you get to these really deep parts, that'll be super helpful because then he'll, uh, he'll be able to, you'll be able to get sand down without standing there doing it yourself individually. So we'll just fill that in, let him fill in real quick, and then we take that, and it's a lot quicker, I think, than doing it yourself, I feel like. Right here, it's not so bad because it's shallow, but when you get to the deeper parts, you'll be able to fill these both all in real quick. And you can put a hopper on here and throw the crate on top of that if it if it's super deep, but basically, we're just going to we're gonna build out probably three layers is the way I'm going to do it until there's nothing there, and then I'm going to break the inner two layers to get the sand back and fill back in this and we'll just keep slowly pushing this out and out and out until we dry out this part of the ocean so that's going to be the plan that uh i'm going to be working on for a little while here until we get this all dried out and so like you could do this and this isn't so bad but like i said once you get to like the deeper parts you'll be able to set these up and do three at a time and basically speed yourself up by three how slow that is might be worth oh another thing to point out you notice there's no guardian fish around right now except for the elders and that's because i brought over a mega torch and slapped that down and figured that would help with uh with dealing with these freaking guardians so it might be that it's worth our time to go inside and kill the guardians while 
it's empty in here. So maybe we'll do that real quick. Still got the problem of drowning to worry about, but um, we can probably use a sponge. Somewhere in there, there might be a room full of sponges, by the way. And if we can get that, that'll speed this up because we have multiple sponges. So probably what we'll do is first let's fill in this with sand all the way around. Um, and then I'll come in and sponge it out real quick so that we've got another chamber of air there. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so as you saw, I created like a three by or three wide band around the inner part of the temple here. And that way as I need sand I can knock out these outer two walls. What I'm gonna do right now, I don't know what I just hit, I hit something that enabled the rotational lock, is I'm gonna go through the brooms one at a time and fill them with sand. Um, and slowly work my way out till all these rooms are dry. So all we gotta do is really close off the doors and then fill the room with sand and then dig it out. And just keep going back up whenever we need milk from our cow jar and dry the temple out on the inside. I'm trying to find these guardians so that we can do away with them so we can stop dealing with this mining fatigue. And then we can concern ourselves with drying around the temple. Ideally what we wanna do is all of this needs to be dry and then we can control where the guardians spawn and we can set up a guardian farm that way. So that's what I'm gonna do here for a few minutes. I'll bring you back when I find the uh, guardians themselves, or the uh, elder guardians, and uh, I'll show you that. So we are working our way through here, room by room, blocking off with sand, filling in and digging out. Um, and I came across this in here. Oh, we need milk. So let me drink milk. Knock this out, knock this out while we can. And if we come in here, because I started to fill in here, then I noticed this. This is a room full of sponges, and so this will make our lives so much easier. We can cook these and use these to empty out rooms. Um, let me go get air. Can I get air, please? There we go. Um, so I'm going to go up in there and I'm going to dig that room out get all those sponges. Oh, I hate you. Get all those sponges and uh, we can continue on and use those to make our lives so much better. It's like gold, all those sponges. So that's what I'm going to do is go in here and get that and then, uh, yeah. We should just be able to do this thing. Actually, we can use this for air now that and we don't have to leave here can't get that block right there because it's a stone but that's okay we'll just fill in the rest of the way around here and knock it all out and we'll find that guardian here somewhere um, yeah so a little bit at a time when we get these sponges we'll go back up top and cook them and then we can start using them to continue drying this place out so yeah, good stuff, good stuff. All right, so we've been slowly drying this place out and I came across, let's see if we can find the room again. We've been, this room was a pain in the butt, let me tell you. Um, but I think over this way and then down here maybe, I came across another one of the boss fishies. If I can remember how to get to them, not this way place is a maze and it's really hard to just go through it because I keep getting rid of my ability to dig right down here yeah that scares me every time they do that I really hate those fish let me tell you somewhere around here dang it is it in here but it's in here you in here you stupid fish there you are all right what we're gonna do is we're just gonna going to dry off the ceiling as quick as possible all the way around to lower the water level. Oh, watch out because he hits hard when he when he zaps you. Now we're going to go to the next level here, dry him out, dry him out there. Keep Basically you just got to go around. It's a lot easier to do when there's not fish messing with you, let me tell you. Um, we're just going to take these, go around, lower the water level all the way around real quick. Ow. Alright. He's going to get us that time. Yep, I knew it. 
but you get the point you get what we're doing so I'm gonna see about getting this stuff back real quick and we will finish drying out his room which will make him start flopping around like the stupid fish that he is all right back in the room but I still got to get a little bit of the stuff I've thrown the rest of my sponges up and I've got the fish between me and the exit over there I don't have my armor so keep line of sight here and jump slap I hate that you don't get all your stuff on the first hit jump slap that's right you stupid fish ow and remember you take damage every time you you hit them when the spikes are out All right, one more. There we go. So that's one down, or two down now. We've got one left to do, and I, I kind of know where he is in here. So I'm going to grab up all these sponges real quick, take them upstairs, um, and uh, dry them out, because we'll need them for the next guy. And I'll bring you guys back as soon as we get there. There's my armor now, what little bits left of it anyways. And I'll finish drying this room out with sand. So we can just do like this thing. Boop. That goes away. All that should go away. Alright, this room is dry. Alright, he's down at the end of this room. He's in there. He's a butthead, so... We're gonna have to drink a milk. Damn it. Dig through. And then we're gonna have to use sponges on them. So. This room is the worst because. Because it's so high up like that. So, what we do is we just go across. And we'll do the top sections first, like this. While avoiding his loving gaze. Come in here like this. It gives us air to breathe in here. And then we can come... Share. We'll shut down water with sand to conserve sponges here while it's safe. I'll do it over here too. Oops. Let's not get ourselves locked in to where we can't move. Why is that sticking? Shouldn't it be falling? Oh, because that rock there. Okay. Maybe we can tie, if we can get him locked in to that little area right there, we can dry that out real quick. And that'll be a much smaller area to fight him in than this up here. So let's see if we can get him locked in down there. Here, my dog is not happy with me right now. Um, let's swing down here. Oh, he swam out. He swam out. You dirty fish. Okay. What are we gonna do? Alright, one second. Alright, we gotta get this thing and get him out of here and then we can start really drying out around here I will say having the peace candle or whatever the things called the golden candle has helped a lot um, I recommend I do recommend if you're gonna do this job to put that out first because not having the regular fish in here is a godsend uh -huh. keep knocking back the water as much as you can Blocking his view of you, wherever you can. Ow. Quit it. Aha. Don't touch. Break that line of sight. Alright, let's go. 
go here. And here. And where? Here. That works. Let's plug this with a sponge. Force them into flipper. We got one sponge left, so I'm gonna seal this up if I can. Keep them from getting out of this little hole here. That way we can really get to them. Alright, he's sealed in there. We could probably even drop sand on top of him. Like that. That's right, die. Die fish. Yeah, we'll kill him in sand. Drown him in sand. Get some hits on him. I think we got him. I think we got him. I think that clears this up. Drink this last milk to get rid of this curse. We shouldn't be cursed anymore after this because there's usually only three of them in here. And so now we should be able to go in here and get his drops real quick. Let's see what he dropped. More of the same stuff. Awesome. Okay, so now my task is just to go through and seal this place off and dry it out completely. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to dry off the entire temple, and then we're going to start working our way around the temple as well. And, um, yeah, I will bring you guys back once that monumental task is close to being done, if not done. And we will continue on. One thing to be aware of if you've never done one of these water temples before is you're going to find a room like this. Um, it's just got this big cube in the middle of it. If you crack that cube open, you will find it has a creamy golden center on it. So don't miss that. That's four blocks. Actually, it's eight blocks. Eight blocks of free gold that you want to make sure that you get. So make sure you don't miss out on that.